What's poppin' homies? It's your favorite homegirl, Gossip Girl here. And today, I have a little bit of news concerning the um, California missing, California City missing um, boys, Oren and Orson West. Now, the private investigator, as it says here from 23 ABC News, the private investigator stepping down from California City missing boys case. All right. A San Diego private investigator working the missing California boys case pro bono confirmed with 23 ABC News Thursday that he is stepping down from the case. I feel like I haven't been accepted as a professional in this particular case, Bill Garcia told 23 ABC News. Garcia's remarks come off. Come after, excuse me, 23 ABC's story Wednesday in which California City Police Chief John Walker thanked Garcia for his efforts, but also asked that Garcia tread carefully to not impede the investigation. I have run into this type of situation in the past, Garcia said. It doesn't get better and it only spirals out of control. I recognize what is starting to happen with law enforcement. It's not productive for me to continue under these types of declining circumstances. According to Garcia, the search he was coordinating for the boys in Tehachapi. Uh, um, if I'm not saying that correctly. Please correct me in the comment section on Saturday is now called off. But I wonder why. Is he getting too close to something? Because Bill Garcia has been a you know a private eye for a very long time. So why is he stepping down? What are what is the police chief worried about? If he's conducting a search over there. Um, what's the problem? I, I just don't understand. And I understand about, you know, listen, let me tell you something. When there's this type of investigation going on, they don't want too much evidence to get put out there. Okay. They don't want too much stuff leaking. And I understand that because the police chief have to, um, cross every T and dot every I. So they want to make sure that whatever they have in evidence Okay, if they got anything worthy that they don't want it to get out and they don't want anything. I, I, I don't know what it is. I don't know if they feel, maybe they feel threatened with Bill. Who knows? But I understand about not wanting information leaking out or getting out and stuff like that. But I'm pretty sure Bill Garcia know how to handle himself. He's been a private eye for, I guess, I think over 20 years. So I think he knows what not to do and what to do. You know, um, oh man, so I'm just going to read you some stuff here. It says, um, they show in a picture of the boys, which you'll see on my, um, commentary covering Kern County article one minute read. Okay. 4 47 PM, January 13, 2021. Private investigator involved in search for Cali boys, despite four agencies, including the FBI working the case of the missing California City boys, a licensed private investigator from San Diego, is taking his shot at solving the case. Okay. <clears throat> Volunteers and private investigators team up to find missing California, California City boys. Many residents have coordinated countless efforts, search efforts on Saturday. They were joined by a private investigator from Northern California. Hmm. I don't know why he would step down. I don't know why he would step down, but I wish he didn't, but I understand his, I understand his position too. If you see a certain pattern with the police and he said he's run into this type of stuff before, if you see a certain pattern with the police department and you're not comfortable with those conditions, I guess that is the best thing to do. I, I think that's the best thing to do. I don't know. This case is getting weirder and weirder by the day. It just seems as if 
something is right in front of our face and we just don't see it. I, I don't know. I, I get this weird feeling. Something is just right there in front of our face and we just don't see it yet. There could be a lot of these boys could be anywhere, you know. They could be they could have been sold off to somebody. You know, human trafficking is very it's still real. It's still going on. It doesn't go away. Human trafficking is very real. Okay. Um they could have sold these kids for whatever reason. Or they could not be on this earth anymore. And I don't even want to think about that option, okay? I'm still hopeful that maybe they're just kidnapped and sitting somewhere, waiting for the reward money to be higher, you know, so they could be like, well, you know what? I found these kids such and such. Because so far, um, somebody, I, I was reading somewhere where somebody said they found, they, in all, all, um, what's that, that grocery store name? Albertsons. They was with two men. You know, one had each child, and they was walking in the parking lot at Albertsons. Now, if that is true, the grocery stores have videotapes. There's video footage somewhere of these kids at some store. So if that's the store they somebody saw them at, they need to pull that video footage. Contact the police. Say, hey, this is where I saw them. And the police need to get on their tail. If it's not in their jurisdiction, they need to contact the police in the jurisdiction and ask them for that tape i don't know i'm i, I don't want to say that the police officers are not doing enough they could do more but we don't know what they have so far we don't know what they have they're not going to tell us everything in the media because they don't want to blow their investigation but you know as for bill garcia stepping down um i really hope that He doesn't like be off the case altogether, just not go out there and search. But how would you find answers if you're not out there searching? And he's a private investigator, so he knows what he's doing. You know, so I just, I don't know. That doesn't feel right to me. It doesn't feel right to me. But you know what? Nothing stays buried too long. Things happen in a very unexpected way. The truth about these kids are going to come out one way or the other. You can't hide this for too long. Do you know how many people go missing? And maybe it takes a little time now. Maybe 15 years later, they're found somewhere. You get what I'm saying? 20 years later, they're found. Or they're not found. You know, it's, it's this could be an ongoing case. We don't know how long this case can go on. It can go on for years. It can go on for months, you know. It's already three weeks in and still no children. So you guys, let me know. What do you think about this case? I don't want to talk too much about it. I've been watching, well, until I get more information. I've been watching videos on YouTube, you know, people going out there, interviewing people and stuff like that. And you got to be careful with that as well because people will say anything for a little 15 minutes of fame. They probably don't have a clue of what's going on. But they've been reading up on the news. So that all they're going to do is just feed you what's in the news. When I find something, I'll let you know what's in the news. This is what I found out. Because I can't take the word from everybody else. Because we all we all don't really know. We all don't know. But to talk to people about it and reenact with people about it. That's when you, know, you get a conversation going and you'll say, well, this happened and that happened. And then you'll find out something that you probably missed and you read over, you know. So it's good to talk about talk about it with people that's into the case as you are. That's what I've been doing. But, yeah, so, guys, I don't know. This just really has me, like, stuck. This case has me stuck because I just don't understand where could these boys have gone. Where? Where are the boys? But anyway, let me know in the comment section. Have you been following this case? Um, what do you think about the, the private eye um, stepping down? Okay. All right, you guys. And I'll talk to you later.